Do you have a negative relationship with your negative emotions? You'll do anything not to feel them, deny, repress, numb to them. Let me explain to you why you want to create a new relationship with those emotions. One that is accepting, embracing, allowing. Our negative emotions are often used for survival. So if I'm feeling fear or anxiety, it might be because I'm actually in physical danger. Maybe not, sometimes our emotions are wrong, but in general, they were there to help us survive. You also want these negative emotions because it is usually through the depths of despair that we will self-reflect and that we will grow and that we end up making changes for the better, for ourselves, in our lives, in our relationships, so we really need that negative piece in order to have growth. And then as Carl Jung, my favorite psychologist said, well, I'm not gonna be able to quote him directly, but his main message was that we really need the backdrop of sadness, of anger, of frustration, of those negative heavy emotions in order to really be able to feel the positive emotions. I'm not gonna know what happy is. I'm not gonna know what joy is unless I can contrast it with sadness, with grief, with despair. So we really do need the full range of our human emotions. And I challenge you to allow them all, to embrace them all, to feel them all.